Luminar AI is post-processing software. It can transform your images in a matter of seconds. But is it really any good? Thanks for joining me for the video today, guys. My name's Ben from Ben's Guide. Please hit subscribe and the notification bell if you like photography and photo editing. I've been using Luminar AI since the day it was released, and there has been updates that have improved this program since day one. So today I'm gonna to be giving you a review about the latest version of Luminar AI and if it's any good. I wanna actually show you in this review some of the features that are really good and also speak about some of the things that may be lacking a little bit with Luminar AI as well. So first up, I'm just gonna grab a photo and then we're just gonna go through a quick edit and show you some of the features. So, the first thing that you'll see here is there's four options up the top. You've got catalog, templates, edit, and export. Of course, you'll be exporting when you've finished editing the photo. Templates is somewhere you can make global changes by using the templates that Luminar AI has to offer. They're kind of like LUTs, where you can just add a certain look to your photo. Now, this is not something that I really ever use in Luminar, but if I wanted to, I could click on, let's say, Overcast. There's lots of different features for landscape and portrait photos and many more, and then just click on Dynamic Results. And then this template will be added to my image. Now, this to me looks really over the top, so you have a slider that you can just bring down and then you can make it look more natural. Now, this is a great feature to have if you really, really want to save a lot of time and just do no editing at all, but that's not me, so I'm going to go Reset Adjustments. Now, let's go to Edit. This is really where most of the power in this program is at. Now, if I scroll all the way to the top, you can see that on the right-hand side, you have all of the tools and all of the tabs here. And we're going to start from the top. I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible. So I'm keeping this interesting without waffling on. So we'll start at the top with enhance. This is a great little feature where you can push this up and it enhances the image just with one slider. You can also enhance the sky, which can be really useful as well. Now, this is actually something I use quite regularly. It's a great place to start. I'm going to switch that off for now and I'm going to show you some of the other features. You've got composition, which is obviously just like Lightroom. You can change the composition, you can crop it, you can flip it, change the perspective and the ratio and everything else. The next option is, we'll skip a race, we'll go straight to light. This is the one that you see in all good photo editing software. This is where you can change some of the really kind of macro level areas of your image. So you can change exposure, contrast, shadows, you can bump them up bring the highlights down there. You can make lots of different changes. Now, this is something, like I said, you'll see in things like Lightroom. And you've also got curves at the bottom here, which you can make some really detailed changes with curves affecting a lot of the contrast of your highlights and shadow areas. Now, I'm just going to click this up here for now, and then we'll take a look at structure. Structure is kind of like clarity, if you know what that is. It's a bit like sharpening. You're sharpening the mid-tones of the image and it just gives it more kind of oomph. As you can see there, this building's really kind of quite detailed now and it stands out well. Now, I'd love to go through every single one of these and show you each one, but really the Edit tab is very similar. Sorry, the Essentials tab is very similar to what you would experience the Essentials in Lightroom. It has all of the same features and you've got color there, which I didn't go through, which you can make changes to all of your colors as well. Now, I want to really kind of focus and concentrate on the creative tab here because this is what sets Luminar AI apart from the rest of the photo editing or post-processing software. It's AI capabilities. That's right. So let's look at Sky. Now, you can make a selection with the Sky here, but not just make a selection. I mean, you can make this in seconds. So let me show you what I mean. If I come down here, I'm gonna pick any sky. Let's go for this one, that's nice. And watch what happens now in the image. It might take a few seconds to load, but when it does, it's gonna replace this sky with that sky. Now look at that. Now what's really impressive, 
really impressive about this is that it's actually taken care of the sky through all of these um, like archways here as well. Every single archway. And let's just, let's zoom in. I mean, this is not badly done. This is perfectly done. Look, you can see it's a perfect sky replacement through all of these tricky areas. The AI knows where to replace. This is really, really fantastic stuff. Now, if I was to actually make an edit like this, it would take me quite a while to make it really professionally if I was to do this in other photo editing software. So it saves you loads of time. And that's one of the best features about Luminar AI is it really improves and speeds up your workflow. Now, some of the options in these are really good as well because it's not just replacing this. You have all options, like you can relight the scene here. You can push this up and it gives you the same color of the sky in the scene foreground. That's amazing. Look, so it makes the, the photo or the image look really natural. You have a whole host of different options. You can choose to change the mask here by refining it just to make any extra details to this uh, even better. I mean, it looks perfect. I really wouldn't change this at all. But if you happen to have one of the most complex um, different kind of cutouts to do, then you might need to change this through the refinement area. I absolutely love the AI tools in Luminar AI. They make things so much easier and quicker. Augmented sky is where you can add things into your sky. It's not something I ever use, but if you like doing things like um, compositions and things like that, this could be a brilliant feature. So you can do things like balloons in the sky, clouds, giraffes. I mean, there really is a whole big list of these things, but for now, let's just add some birds in so you can see how this looks. And I'll zoom in as well so we can see where the birds go. And they should pop up. There we go. They popped up there. And now you've got birds in your sky. Now you might be thinking, I don't want them. But the great thing about this is you have the option to do this. You also have the option to relight the birds so they fit in with the sky and they blend in naturally. This is all stuff which would take me forever and a day if I was doing this um, through Lightroom and compositing that way. So you've also got things like warmth. You can make them look warmer so that they blend in with the sky that way and you can change the amount. You can really do anything you want to make this look more natural or to just make it look better. I'm going to click off augmented sky for a minute and now we're going to go on to have a look at things like atmosphere. Now this is another really cool thing. If I click down here, I can now add layered fog. Yes, layered fog. Now, I don't know why I'd want to, but if I wanted to create a mysterious atmosphere, here we go, let's push this up, and we now have fog in the background. But we don't want fog in the background, so let's add a bit of depth, and now we've got fog in the foreground as well. I mean, really, it's just, it's just epic, the changes you can make. You can make this lighter or darker to fit your scene. Now, I don't think fog works with this, <laughs> just like the birds don't. Um, but yeah, you can actually make changes to that if you want to. You've got more options as well, so you can really do what you want with this. This program, Luminar AI, was good when I first started using it when it first came out, but recently it's got so much better, and that's because they know to keep updating this software and bringing it up to an even better level, and that's why I've gone from using this like 20% of the time for my photo editing to something more like 80% of the time. I do, do still use Photoshop some of the times for really intricate things, but I can now use Luminar AI for nearly everything. I want to show you one last thing before I give you my overall verdict of this, and that's just the portrait section. There's a lot of people which do portrait retouching, which might be looking at this as a possible um, upgrade or they might be thinking this could be the program for me and there are some tools on this which are really good for it in fact it has its own section here you can actually make changes to the face very quickly now I'm going to go through these really quick so stay tuned as I'm going through these so that you can see the changes I make we'll start the face section here now what you can do with the face here is you can light the face, you can make it lighter or darker. So if you want to do that, you can make the changes to it, 
which is really handy if you haven't used enough light in your scene. You can make the face slimmer. It's not something I'll ever want to do, but you can if you want to. You can also change the eyes here. You can add more flare into the eyes. You can make the eyes more enhanced to make them brighter. You can do just about everything. You can remove the dark circles around the eyes as well, which is a really cool feature. And you can change the eyebrows. You can make them darker or lighter, depending on your taste. And really, you can change anything you can think of. Now, one thing I will say about the portrait section for this in Luminar AI is it is significantly improved from day one. I wasn't that impressed from day one. I did think that Photoshop was massively ahead and it still is in the control that you have. But if you want to make quick changes to your portraits for your website, for your social media, even for some clients, then Luminar AI is the place to be because you're not going to be able to do it any quicker than with this program. You can also make changes to the skin by creating like um, what I'd call a frequency separation look by really blurring the skin out here. You can see before and after. We've made lots of changes which you may not have noticed but have actually taken place. But I would advise keeping it natural to keep everything down pretty low and just make sure that this is in the right place. Now skin defects, this is also pretty cool. I don't know why that's already ticked, but let's just zoom in here and I'll show you before and after. When I click this off, what's really impressive about this is when I click it on, it's gonna get rid of the skin defects, as you can see the spots and things here, but it keeps the freckles. So the AI knows to actually keep this nice natural freckle, uh, freckle, shall I say, on her face and keep that there because we don't wanna remove that. That's something that's natural on her face and it's naturally part of her, so we'll keep it there. But you can also make changes as well to things like the body, and you can slim down the body if you want to, or change the abdomen. You have plenty of choices. So if you're someone that's looking at this from a portrait standpoint, rather than from landscapes and street photography, then I would say that this is definitely a good option for portrait and beauty retouching. And it's something which is really going to speed up your workflow. Now, you've got the professional tab here. We really do not have time to look through this because the video is going to go on forever. And I apologize if it already has. But if you want to go into more details like dodging and burning, cloning and stamping, things like that, then you have these options here as well. Really, you have all of the options of a normal photo editor but you have AI as well thrown in. And that's what's really impressive about Luminar AI. So guys, to wrap this up, I think Luminar AI is brilliant. Since the latest updates, it is fantastic to use. It speeds up your workflow and it's just one of the best out there. Is it the best? I couldn't really say because it does miss some things that Photoshop has, but most of you won't be noticing that unless you are really, really deep into editing and you're working for some very, very particular clients. So I highly advise this software to anyone looking for photo editing software. And I think it's going to be a great choice for pretty much anyone. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Sorry if it's gone on a little bit long, but I was trying to make a review about this really in-depth program in a short amount of time. If you've got any comments, leave them in the comment section below the video. Please like the video and whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys. Make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.